Did you know that Pan Xiaoting filmed a mukbang where she literally and unfortunately ate until she burst? Or that Micah and James Stauffer returned their adopted son after he made them millions? Today, you'll meet 16 YouTubers who took everything to the extreme. Let's watch it, it's fascinating. Pan Xiaoting. For some time now, South Korean YouTubers have popularized the mukbang trend, a type of video where they record themselves consuming enormous amounts of food while interacting with the audience. While some content creators focus on showcasing new dishes or little-known regional specialties, most nowadays simply focus on eating portions of food large enough to feed a family for weeks. Pan Xiaoting falls into this latter category, a young Chinese woman who, on July 14th, took on a challenge that involved consuming 10 kilograms of food over 10 hours without breaks. Although the Asian country's government passed a law against food waste in 2021, prohibiting the filming and dissemination of mukbang videos, it didn't stop the protagonist of this story from becoming one of the leading figures in this type of content. During the inconceivable challenge, she consumed large amounts of cake, fried chicken, and other foods that accumulated in her stomach without being digested when her digestive system lost the ability to process such a quantity. Several hours later, her abdomen was severely deformed as the stomach couldn't process the food quickly enough to send it to the small intestine and make room for the torrent of food still coming in, eventually leading to her stomach rupturing under the strain. Unfortunately, Pan died during her live stream in front of thousands of followers who were left stunned as the mukbang cost her life in her quest for fame. A few days later, the autopsy report was released, revealing that her stomach was severely deformed and burst, causing stomach acid and undigested food to leak into her abdomen. While it's tragic that she lost her life at such a young age, it's important to highlight that life is worth much more than internet fame. Her tragic death sends a strong message to young people trying to become famous on social media, telling them that it's not worth risking their well-being for validation from others. Micah and James Stauffer A few years ago, they were known for their YouTube channel dedicated to sharing their family life with their children. From the beginning, they enjoyed relatively high popularity, but in 2017, their fame exploded when they documented the exciting process of adopting a child from China, whom they named Huxley. For several months, they recorded every step of their journey, from trips to the Asian country, bureaucratic challenges, and finally, the arrival of the little boy to his new home. Soon, the new family member became the star of countless videos, where they documented his adaptation and the Stauffer's efforts to understand and manage his special needs brought by autism. At the same time, the family's story resonated with the audience and attracted the attention of major brands like Playtex Baby, Danimals, and Mattel, which offered them lucrative sponsorship deals. Although the exact amount of money earned is unknown, it's estimated to be in the hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars, as their videos became some of the most popular on the platform for over two years. However, in 2020, the Stauffer's life took an unexpected and devastating turn when Micah and James uploaded a video announcing that they had decided to place Huxley with another family, claiming they couldn't adequately meet his needs as an autistic child. While they insisted that they still loved him as their own son, the public reaction was mostly negative, with many accusing the couple of exploiting the boy for popularity and money, and suggesting that the profits should be placed in a trust for him. Some followers even wondered if they would have made the same decision if one of their biological children had been diagnosed with a similar condition. Nonetheless, a minority of fans defended the decision, arguing that the best thing for Huxley was to be in a home where his special needs could be properly met. Despite the divided opinions, the only palpable reality is that Micah and James Stauffer shut down their channel and removed all content related to Huxley from their social media in an attempt to erase any trace of his existence in their public life. As a result, this action left an uncomfortable feeling that the boy, who was once presented as a beloved family member, had been discarded and forgotten without the slightest remorse. Mikhail Litvin If you're a fan of sports cars, then get a tissue ready for the tears that will flow down your face when you see this magnificent machine go up in flames. For many of us, it would be a dream come true to get behind the wheel of a Mercedes-AMG GT63 whose V8 engine with 630 horsepower accelerates from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds and can reach a top speed of 195 miles per hour. 
However, for Russian YouTuber Mikhail Litvin, this luxury car became a source of frustration and disappointment, as in a surprising and controversial act, he decided to set it on fire and show his subscribers that money doesn't matter to him as much as his dignity. According to the influencer, known for his love of sports cars, he paid 140,000 euros for a vehicle that didn't meet his expectations, as after covering just 9,320 miles, it began to experience problems that led him to visit the official Mercedes-Benz workshop on four occasions. Each time the car was returned to him without the issues being resolved, and the situation became unsustainable when a mechanic friend discovered that it was in an almost irreparable state. Upon hearing these words, Litvin made a decision that while radical, he made sure to film to show his followers how he destroyed something so valuable. With gasoline in hand and on an open field, the YouTuber set his Mercedes ablaze and the video quickly went viral, amassing 36 million views. User comments were divided between those who saw the gesture as a valid protest against Mercedes-Benz's poor customer service and those who considered it a mere publicity stunt to gain fame. Time seems to have proven the skeptics right, as Litvin's channel tripled its number of subscribers from 4 million to just over 12 million. Not satisfied with this spectacle, the Russian once again shocked everyone by destroying a Lamborghini Urus worth $250,000, all to elevate his reputation as someone who isn't afraid to spend large sums of money to attract the attention of millions of people. Troll Station In 2015, the guys from the Troll Station channel carried out a prank that left many breathless, and not in a good way. After infiltrating the Tate Museum in London, where some of the world's most expensive works of art are displayed, they committed an extremely irresponsible act by shouting, let's take the paintings, to simulate a robbery. Chaos erupted as soon as terrified visitors thought it was a real heist, and they scattered in all directions, trying to find a safe exit. The worst part was that, amid the confusion, a woman fainted, unable to handle the panic of the situation. As the pranksters left the gallery with fake paintings they had brought with them, the police quickly arrested them. Although they tried to defend themselves by saying it was just a prank for their channel, the law didn't see it that way. After facing legal consequences, Daniel Jarvis was sentenced to 20 weeks in prison, while his accomplices Ebenezer Mensa and Helder Gomez received 18 weeks each. What started as an idea for a shocking video ended up being a harsh lesson about the consequences of their actions as this prank not only cost them their temporary freedom but also taught them that there are limits that shouldn't be crossed, especially when playing with people's fear and safety. Cole and Savannah LeBrant It's becoming increasingly common for entire families to record their daily lives, and this couple and their children were no exception. With nearly 13 million subscribers on their YouTube channel called The LeBrant Fam, they enjoy a global audience that watches their videos about their daily routines with their kids and family trips. Generally, their content was harmless until they had the brilliant idea to profit from a tragedy, the California wildfires in 2018. When the fire broke out in Cleveland National Forest in early August, thousands of Southern California residents were forced to leave their homes, and for many families, it was a nightmare that seemed never to end. At that moment, the LeBrants, who lived in Ladera Ranch, uploaded a video titled A Giant Fire Forces Us to Evacuate Our House, in which they appeared concerned about the smoke rising over the hillside. The video then shows the couple picking up their daughter Everly from her grandmother's house and telling her they were leaving the fire area to avoid scaring her further. The rest of the video shows them driving to San Francisco, checking into a hotel, and visiting tourist spots in what was clearly a strategy to capture the audience's attention and show off their luxurious vacation. A few days later, the LeBrant's neighbors reported to the media that the area was never evacuated, causing their YouTube videos to be filled with comments from people outraged by their audacity and their attempt to profit during a natural disaster that destroyed 10,000 hectares of forest and caused nearly $30 million in damages. The situation revealed something very disturbing about social media as many people are willing to do anything for fame and money, even if it means taking advantage of a natural disaster like a wildfire. Jason Sid. Wasting the time of emergency services is one of the worst things anyone can do because it diverts resources from those who truly need help. 
Jason Sid, a YouTuber who in 2022 had 2 million subscribers, never considered this when he thought it was a good idea to trick the police by faking a crime. On that occasion, he asked one of his accomplices to call the Coral Springs police in Florida and report suspicious activity in a car parked at a gas station. The vehicle in question was occupied by Jason and his friends, who also had several hidden cameras filming the entire situation to later upload it to his channel. When the police arrived, they thought they were dealing with drug traffickers, so they proceeded to detain everyone present and thoroughly search the car for illegal substances. To the officer's surprise, the only thing they found in the trunk were cans of Coca-Cola. Jason and his accomplices were taken to the police station under the third-degree charge of misuse of 911 and fined $2,500. Not long after, the YouTuber claimed that the only reason for filming the video was to show how overly aggressive law enforcement officers are when responding to a call. But he forgot to mention that his primary motive was to attract public attention and help grow his channel, which gained hundreds of thousands of subscribers. In response, the police department issued a statement explaining that the officers were polite and professional, while also criticizing Jason, saying that while the officers were occupied with this fabricated situation, they couldn't respond to real emergencies like traffic accidents or assist people in dangerous situations. Jake Paul. It's terrible. It's a bad situation. That's how the neighbors of West Hollywood described living near the house of this YouTuber, who was constantly causing disturbances and making noise at all hours. According to residents of the street where Paul rented a house around 2017, they had to meet with the police and find a way to declare him a nuisance to get rid of him after so much time living with his constant parties, noisy cars, and behavior that always sought to create problems. In response to his neighbors, the influencer stated that he felt bad for them, but there was nothing he could do because the Jake Paulers are the strongest army out there, referring to his millions of social media followers. When a news channel tried to interview him to verify whether it was true that he had turned the area into a circus, he defended his actions by saying there was nothing they could do to stop him. Faced with this situation, the neighbors declared that this used to be a very nice, quiet street, perfect for raising a family, but since the day Jake Paul and his friends moved in, they turned the place into a hell where peace completely disappeared. As he continued to make headlines negatively, Disney Channel decided to fire him from the series Bizardvark, in which he starred alongside his brother, Logan Paul. The most incredible part is that despite starring in multiple controversies, Jake still has tens of millions of followers who make him millions of dollars thanks to his pranks and destructive behavior, exposing just how negative social media has become. Trevor Jacob. In 2021, Trevor Jacob came up with an idea that, at least in his mind, seemed brilliant. Crash a plane to gain thousands, or maybe millions, of new subscribers to his YouTube channel. In a carefully planned video, he boarded the aircraft and flew to a remote area where the crash wouldn't harm anyone on the ground. When he reached the chosen spot, he parachuted out, camera in hand, recording the pilotless plane as it nosedived and crashed into the side of a mountain. The video, which showed the dramatic crash, was uploaded to his channel with the narrative that it was an unfortunate accident caused by engine failure. He also claimed not to know the exact point in California's Los Padres National Forest where the plane had crashed. However, the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, authorities soon suspected something was off, and after completing their investigation, they revealed a very different story. Jacob's narrative unraveled when authorities discovered that he had returned to the crash site by helicopter to recover the wreckage and destroy any evidence. They also confirmed that he wore a parachute throughout the flight and did not issue any distress signal to air traffic control. Feeling cornered by the investigators, Jacob eventually confessed that he had intentionally crashed the plane to gain views. His reckless act, which could have cost him or someone on the ground their life, led to the revocation of his pilot's license. He had to admit his guilt after attempting to deceive federal authorities with his initial false testimony. Although he faced a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison, he was sentenced to just six months behind bars, which likely made him reflect on his future actions if he wants to continue being famous on social media. Vitaly Zdorovetsky. This YouTuber gained fame for his shocking and terrifying pranks, which made him the star of a channel with over 10 million subscribers. The prankster's modus operandi is simple but effective. He pretends to be a Russian hitman to scare innocent people on the street. Dressed in a black suit, 
Vitaly goes to public places and pretends to talk on the phone, saying disturbing things like, you have 60 seconds to pay me or I'll end your life. Naturally, his act causes panic among those present, who either run away in terror or call the police, convinced they're facing a real criminal. On other occasions, he carries a briefcase and, in a deep voice, warns passers-by that they have only a few seconds to run, implying that there's a bomb inside ready to explode. This particular prank landed him in serious legal trouble when he was arrested and charged with detonating explosives, a charge that could have sent him to prison for 15 long years. However, luck was on his side when the judge dismissed the case, freeing him from the threat of a lengthy sentence. Despite this close brush with the law, Vitaly hasn't stopped in his quest for fame and continues to engage in increasingly dangerous pranks that will likely land him in trouble again in the future. Nikocado Avocado Here we have another major figure in the mukbang trend, a phenomenon born in South Korea where the premise is simple. Eat massive amounts of food in front of the camera. Believe it or not, this young man, whose real name is Nicholas Perry, was once a vegan and in perfect physical condition, until he transformed into a polarizing figure after fully embracing junk food. From crispy fried chicken to juicy burgers, along with mountains of fries and spicy noodles, his diet became a decadent feast like no other. As you might expect, it didn't take long for his weight to skyrocket, leading him to an alarming physical state. As he gained fame, his rapid transformation, along with the ups and downs of his tumultuous love life that led to numerous breakups and reconciliations with his partner, turned his YouTube channel into what many consider the biggest social experiment of our time. This means that viewers witnessed how an ordinary young man transformed into a figure desperately seeking attention, who also attracted millions of views with his dietary excesses. At his most critical point, he reached a staggering weight of 368 pounds, or about 220 pounds more than when he started. This weight gain brought him serious physical and mental health issues, including insomnia due to an inflamed digestive system and the need to use a mobility scooter to get around. Despite his ongoing problems, he made some crucial changes. He adjusted his diet and started exercising, managing to lose 88 pounds. However, his subscribers believe it's only a matter of time before his health problems return because he hasn't given up filming mukbang videos. Therefore, they describe his journey as an endless tragicomedy, reflecting a constant struggle between entertainment and self-destruction in the pursuit of views and likes. Kevin Thomas Strala. Known on YouTube as LA Beast, Kevin Thomas Strala has earned a reputation for completing extreme food challenges that push his body to the limit, performing feats that many would consider unthinkable. With nearly 3 million subscribers, this compulsive eater has garnered a legion of fans thanks to his ability to consume absurd amounts of food, including the spiciest and most nauseating items. One of his most shocking moments came when he ingested 14 Carolina Reapers in just one minute. For those unfamiliar, this pepper is officially the hottest in the world, capable of leaving the mouth burning for hours. But for LA Beast, the experience must have felt like a lava explosion in his stomach. This wasn't the only time he's challenged the limits of human endurance. In another video, he attempted to drink 96 shots of eggnog, which ended in an epic and disgusting vomit explosion. And if that wasn't enough, he also managed to swallow 100 raw eggs at a blistering speed, leaving his audience in a state of both amazement and disgust. The question many people ask is whether these extreme challenges could cause him long-term health problems. After all, Repeatedly subjecting his stomach to such tortures can't be benign. For now, the YouTuber continues to grow in popularity, with each challenge outdoing the last in terms of extravagance and risk, while his followers wonder how much longer his body can endure such punishing treatment. Ruslan Sokolovsky Most people deeply respect religious sites and behave appropriately when visiting them. Unless you're Russian vlogger Ruslan Sokolovsky, who challenged this norm with an action that earned him significant controversy and legal trouble. One day, the influencer decided to play Pokemon Go inside the church on the blood in the name of all saints resplendent in the Russian land, a site of immense historical and spiritual importance, as it was built on the spot where Tsar Nicholas II and his family were brutally murdered in 1918. Today, it's a place of great significance for Russians, serving as a site of memory and canonization of the royal family. Sokolovsky's video, 
in which he was seen catching Pokemon inside the sacred site, quickly went viral, sparking a wave of outrage. The police were quick to intervene and opened an investigation, discovering that this wasn't the first time the vlogger had posted content criticizing the Russian Orthodox Church. The situation escalated quickly, and Sokolovsky was arrested on charges of inciting religious hatred. While facing a possible sentence of up to five years in prison, which many considered extremely severe, the media pressure and public reaction led the judge to take the public's opinion into account. Ultimately, Sokolovsky received a suspended sentence of three and a half years, reflecting the tension between freedom of expression and respect for religious institutions. This incident not only put Sokolovsky at the center of controversy, but also sparked a broader debate about the limits of personal actions in sacred places and respect for cultural traditions. Coyote Peterson The daring YouTuber behind the channel Brave Wilderness, Coyote Peterson has captured the attention of millions of viewers with an unconventional approach, allowing himself to be stung or bitten by wild animals. With a community of 21.4 million subscribers, his mission is clear to educate and entertain, even if it means enduring extreme pain. Despite having no formal training in veterinary medicine or any related field, Peterson has become a reference in the realm of wild nature and always warns his audience not to attempt to replicate his dangerous stunts. It all began in 2015 when, intrigued by the infamous painful sting of the harvester ant, he decided to face the challenge and allow these insects to attack him. What for many would be a nightmare for him became a test of endurance that catapulted him to fame. While others who suffered this sting described the pain as agonizing for several hours, it wasn't enough to deter him. Since then, he has continued his dangerous journey, exposing himself to all kinds of creatures, from snakes and lizards to the dreaded insects, like the infamous bullet ant, whose name comes from the extreme pain it causes, comparable to being shot. His bravery has not only been a fascinating spectacle for millions of subscribers, but also a lucrative source of income, as it is estimated that the advertising revenue from his videos reaches nearly $300,000 per month. It's worth noting that his path to fame is one of the most dangerous of any social media influencer, as wild animals, always unpredictable, could cause him mortal injuries in the blink of an eye. Brian Johnson, Liver King. In today's age, where online content is abundant, standing out from the crowd can be a colossal challenge. Brian Johnson, better known as Liver King, seems to have found his sure path to fame through his penchant for eating raw meat in his videos. Since beginning his media journey, this vlogger has captured the attention of millions by devouring whole chunks of uncooked meat, while also promoting a lifestyle he describes as ancestral. Although his true intention is to sell supplements, nutritional advice, and training programs, his audience seems more interested in watching his shocking caveman-style meals. In fact, Brian claims to consume up to half a kilo of raw liver daily and compares himself to super predators like lions and orcas that feed in this manner in the wild. What he doesn't mention to his followers is the dangerous risk associated with this habit. For decades, doctors have advised against consuming raw meat because it can expose individuals to E. coli bacteria, which can survive stomach acid and cause kidney failure, shock, and even death if not treated in time. Another danger is toxoplasmosis, a parasite capable of infesting vital organs like the brain and heart or crossing the placenta to affect a fetus in a pregnant woman. Despite numerous medical warnings and the lack of scientific evidence to support the benefits of eating raw meat, Liver King defends his practice as a connection to human ancestors and a more natural way of living. Thus, his controversial message continues to resonate with an audience fascinated and captivated by his bravery, or perhaps recklessness, in a world increasingly concerned with health and food safety. Mizzy Bakari Bronzo Garo is the TikToker known as Mizzy, whose path to internet infamy began thanks to the unique ability of this platform to catapult anyone to fame. His content, which at first was fun and lighthearted, gradually ventured into more daring territory, and as his follower count increased, so did the audacity of his pranks. This escalation was not exclusive to Mizzy, but reflected a broader trend on the platform, where content creators often feel pressured to amplify their antics to keep viewers engaged. However, the English TikToker's pranks soon crossed the line from playful mischief into potentially harmful territory, such as the times he pretended to rob people on the street or when he invaded others' homes without their consent. Although controversies began to accumulate, 
Mizzy defended his actions by claiming they were staged with the consent of those involved. However, this assertion did little to ease growing concerns about his activities. The turning point came with a series of videos that brazenly defied a court order prohibiting him from causing public disturbances. In fact, right after receiving the order, he recorded a video at the Westfield Stratford City shopping mall mocking the British judicial system. These acts of defiance, captured and shared on social media, ultimately led to his downfall when the legal process revealed a young man seemingly more motivated by fame and potential financial gain than by a genuine desire to entertain his audience. Consequently, his supposed pranks stopped being seen as harmless fun and became acts of disrespect towards both people and the legal framework designed to protect them. Although a judge sentenced him to 18 weeks in a youth detention center, as soon as he was released from jail, he returned to his antics and found himself back in the spotlight last April, when he stole a woman's iPhone and attempted to flee. In this situation, it is clear that his legal troubles did not make him reconsider his actions, as he remains focused on becoming famous on the internet at all costs, even if that means causing harm and stress to others. Cinnamon Challenge one of the most reckless and dangerous viral challenges to circulate on the internet is the Cinnamon Challenge. Although it is unclear who started it, it gained explosive popularity from 2007 and reached its peak between 2010 and 2012. From the beginning, the premise was simple but risky. Ingest a spoonful of cinnamon in less than a minute without drinking water. Thousands of people attempted it and soon videos of participants coughing, spewing clouds of brown dust, and struggling to swallow became a viral phenomenon. However, what many saw as simple fun quickly turned dangerous, as cinnamon, being a dry and coarse substance, is nearly impossible to swallow in large quantities without liquids. For this reason, those who attempt it often end up inhaling the powder, which can cause an immediate choking reaction. Health authorities in several countries quickly intervened, issuing warnings about the dangers of this challenge and explaining that cinnamon can form clumps in the throat that block the airways, causing severe choking. Additionally, inhaling it can irritate the lungs and, in some cases, lead to serious infections or even pneumonia. This is partly due to the presence of cinnamaldehyde, a chemical compound that can severely irritate the internal tissues of the nose and respiratory tract. Fortunately, the cinnamon challenge has mostly faded into the past, but it remains a reminder of the extremes some people are willing to go to for a moment of fame on the internet. Now tell me, do you know of other YouTubers who have done deplorable things to gain fame? Leave your opinion in the comments. Here are two options that you'll surely love.